The previous blog outlines key fundamentals to go from a structured approach to digital marketing, where I have discussed both sides of a business model, namely, TG acquisition, and TG retention, where in the former we find building consideration through direct communication and KOF as well as converting at the point of purchase are the key jobs in the marketer's hand, whereas in the later, key tasks hover around existing consumer base, for convincing them on continued usage and greater consumption. The marketer's task is not yet finished up on setting up a structure for digital marketing until he decides up on the recent and digital jobs. It brings me here to discuss key consequential jobs to future-proof the digital marketing plan. In the case of TG acquisition, by building consideration through direct communication, a marketer most likely finds himself working toward adding non-intenders, to the existing consumer base, either be it the matured market, or be it the not so matured market. Non-intenders, are they, who find themselves satisfied with the product, and the brand that has eventually brought a solution to their problems, hence they do not feel the need to change it. It underlines the marketer's intention to prioritize, what he wants the, non-intenders, to think, feel and respond. For example he may want the consumers to think, the XYZ brand is the superior than my current brand, or he may want the consumer to feel, the XYZ brand is better the way I currently manage my problem, and then he may want the consumer to respond, it makes sense to switch to the XYZ brand immediately. The resultant job in such case arises the necessity, to drive penetration through convincing, non-intenders, about the brand's superiority, over all existing brands, or, usage habits, with an objective to engage with, non-intenders, to educate. It calls for an action, to build a conversation platform and manage appropriately. However, the message that needs to be put across, to bring about a behavioral change in, non-intenders, must honor the differences from market to markets, for example, let's say in water purification industry one can find many, Non-intenders, use boiling as a method of purifying water, whereas many are satisfied using bottled water as an alternative to water purifiers. So emphasizing up on safety and convenience, then affordability in case of non-intenders who use boiling, and likewise, affordability and convenience, then safety in case of non-intenders who are bottled water users makes more sense to engage and educate up on. The point, I am trying to drive here that a marketer needs to select a message, appropriate for a particular consumer group followed by, creating captive contents targeted toward market development, and to be uploaded on digital mediums, and then arrives at the most critical objectives, to win in search, which calls for the second action, to manage digital mediums. Amongst all other available social media and digital mediums, the brand website is the most critical place, where buyers most likely land for their research. Therefore managing the brand website holds immense significance, in winning, the landing information seekers. The point, I am driving here that the landing buyers, or consumers, must drive home a genuine interest of buying the brand, even if they don't make purchase online. So setting up direct deliverables, like SEO friendly links, and fresh contents, wire frame consumer journeys from investigation to usage experience, e-commerce links, and mobile or tablet friendly output are some unavoidable elements in managing the brand website. Nowadays the marketer has all available analytical tools to provide him with accurate KPIs, that is key performance indicators, like top organic search keywords, bounce rate, time spent per user, leads generated, referring sites, and other details. As in one side, digital advancements have benefited the marketers maximizing and customizing the reach. It also uncovers both sides of their brands before prospects on the other, who may land on any digital vehicle in due course of seeking information for the brand, and some may find them receiving good as well as some may find them receiving bad reviews. Here arrives the marketer with an objective to populate the R letter to earn good reviews, recommendations and referrals. This calls for to initiate the third action, online reputation management. 
the action holds greater importance to prevent the brand audience carried away to an unwanted direction. The word management denotes the marketer must see through the consumer's brand usage journey preemptively to arrive at earning their testimonials. Earning good reviews when the brand is well received by its consumers is manageable to an extent but why will consumers advocate for the brand is the critical point that a marketer must poses in mind. The point I am driving here that a marketer must seek for testimonials, influencing new buyers and non-intenders and must look at such events for ways to incentivizing the influencers as well. He must therefore construct a complete referral funnel to earn good reviews, get recommended and have the brand referred to larger population. In result and future the referral funnel will itself help in building conversation platforms. However, setting up KPIs is equivalently important to see the referral funnel working in desired directions, like weekly and monthly numbers of reviews, recommendations and referrals etc. Now we have reached the last not the least, but substantial objective to a great extent so far as PG retention is concerned. To establish a direct line of communication with existing consumers which calls for the next action, creating the brand community. Font I want to drive here that a buyer, once purchased the brand, becomes a member of the family who must be informed on all updates, deliverables, fresh arrivals or other contents that have any relevance to her, so that she never finds her left aside or neglected. The best way to achieve this objective is to add her in the community and keep motivating her often to visit the place. Managing the brand community involves a marketer to produce engaging and entertaining contents without failing a single occasion to touch the consumer's heart because consumers have already used their mind adopting the brand. Now it's time to win their hearts. Marketing is not just about insights but also foresights. As consumers increasing affinity towards internet browsing for making purchase decision in the underlines, being adept in making a structured approach to digital marketing, a marketer's task isn't done until he decides upon the result and digital jobs to future-proof the digital marketing plan. I hope this blog could notify us the four fail-safe ways to future-proof any digital marketing plan, and they are 1. Building a conversation platform and manage appropriately. Two, Managing digital mediums. 3. Managing brand reputation online and 4. Creating the brand community are the four fail-safe ways to future-proof a digital marketing plan.